DLSS upscaling technology is NVIDIA's crowning jewel. It improves performance greatly. It looks great too. Many times you'd be hard pressed to even tell the game was running at a lower resolution to begin with. And that is because it uses machine learning, otherwise known as AI. The machine learning is able to help reconstruct those small details and help with the instability that can be caused from running at a lower resolution. NVIDIA limits it to only work on their GPUs because it has to use their tensor cores. And honestly, I seriously don't think anybody's going to be able to ask NVIDIA to change what they're doing. NVIDIA is the big boss right now. So here we are. AMD made FSR 2 and actually FSR 3 to compete with NVIDIA's DLSS 2, where DLSS at times can feel like you're making no compromises and you're getting free performance, basically. FSR, well, it has some drawbacks. So there we have it. DLSS is the superior upscaling solution as based on my analysis over 26 games. What's funny is if you scroll down on this page, AMD says, no machine learning in FSR? Machine learning is not a prerequisite to achieving good quality image scaling. That could be true to some cases. It's impressed what AMD has been able to accomplish without deep learning, but they're saying here that they don't need it. That must be why Intel, on literally their first showing to graphics cards ever, they made XCSS super sampling using AI enhanced upscaling. And instantly, XCSS already looked better than FSR. And now we got AMD's CTO saying this. AI enabling our entire portfolio. So cloud, edge, uh, you know, our PCs, our, our embedded devices, our gaming devices, we're, we're enabling our, our gaming devices to, to upscale using uh, uh, AI. Did you hear that? Let me run it back. Let me run it back. We're enabling our, our gaming devices to, to upscale using uh, AI. Yeah. AI upscaling on AMD G GPUs coming in 2024. This is from AMD's CTO, that is Chief Technology Officer. And you know, this whole like AI thing with upscaling, it's kind of funny that, oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna forget that we said this. Okay, we're just, gonna, that didn't matter. AI, AI is good, AI is good. I also wanted to point out in the exact quote that AMD actually said here, this is on videocards.com. We are enabling our gaming devices to upscale using AI in 2024. But I did want to point out is he didn't say that this was specifically in FSR. So it doesn't mean FSR itself is getting upscale, AI upscaling, at least at this point in time. Things are pretty vague and we're going to probably find out more as it comes around. But this as a, as a whole is really huge news because one of the major compromises to getting an AMD graphics card is that FSR just doesn't look as good. If DLSS is something you would always turn on, FSR just hasn't been the same. Plus AMD GPUs, I mean, if you look at the market, they typically offer better price to performance, like say here the 7800 XT versus the 4070. Usually the 7800 XT is faster and it goes for about yeah, at this point in time, like $40 less, and it has more VRAM and stuff like that. So if AMD is able to pull this upscaling with AI off, the difference might not matter nearly as much between these GPUs. AMD might be able to close that gap. The next thing, I guess, would be AMD's ray tracing performance. I mean, their cards just aren't as fast as NVIDIA's, but I'm not sure if that's as big of a deal to people because a lot of people just turn ray tracing off. So does it matter? I mean... It'd be nice if AMD's cards had faster ray tracing performance, but we don't really know a lot about this AMD AI upscale at this point in time, but there is a possibility AMD might reveal a little bit more at GDC. This is Game Developers Conference 2024 in March because AMD is going to be doing a conference with Microsoft and Nvidia actually about Microsoft's new Direct SR upscaler. We're going to see how this goes. But it also makes me wonder, is AMD's AI upscaling just this Microsoft upscaler? But let's kind of theorize in a different direction. I've been talking about AI upscaling on AMD GPUs. That's a really good thing. It could close the gap between NVIDIA. That's all cool, Mr. Vex, but why is the video so much longer? And um, that's because uh, AI with FSR, it could have some glaring issues. Number one. What GPUs is AI upscaling going to work on? And this is a major issue because before when AMD introduced FSR 2, right? And even FSR 3, it pretty much worked on everything. But 
you know, as we saw with NVIDIA's GPUs, AI needs a specific way in order to process it to do it efficiently. NVIDIA uses their tensor cores to do DLSS and Intel for their XDSS upscaler uses their XMX accelerators on their cards too. But AMD GPUs, they don't really have AI processors on them, except for their 7000 series GPUs. These do have AI processors on them. And at the moment, they're not really used for a whole lot. I, I'm just on Reddit here. RX 7000 series GPUs, AI accelerators purpose. These cards have them, but what are they using them for right now? At the moment, there's like this big thing that somebody's explaining what they could be used for. There's also that AMD has been prepping for AI inference in video games, which is uh, basically making more complicated AI in games like the characters and stuff that are walking around the world. We haven't really seen any of this as, up to this point in time, but this is what these these AI accelerators on 7000 series cards are used for in gaming at the moment. And that does make me wonder, AMD's 7000 series cards could accelerate this AI upscaling, but that, that really begs the question, what's gonna happen to all the people that are on 6000 series cards? on 5000 series cards. Is AMD going to be asking people to upgrade to a 7000 series card or higher? Like I just I don't think AMD has the the market presence or dominance that Nvidia has in order to demand people to upgrade to their tech. You can actually see that Nvidia had the exact same problem when they introduced DLSS. It, this only works on RTX graphics cards and RTX cards started with 20 series in 2018. And one of the big points is that this is just following GTX 10 series GPUs, which were extremely popular, very good cards, but they couldn't use DLSS, they couldn't do ray tracing, all that stuff is it pretty controversial at the time that NVIDIA was asking you to upgrade to get this feature. But I do have to remind you that this was a while ago NVIDIA went through this and nowadays a lot of the most like not every single card but a lot of cards out there the most popular NVIDIA cards in the world are all capable of like DLSS I mean yeah there's a select few like 1050 Ti can't do it 1060 1650 but generally speaking if you have an NVIDIA card now then you can use DLSS and that's because DLSS came out in 2018 and then the better version of it came out in 2020. But so would AMD be starting people on this upgrade cycle to get AI upscaling in 2024 when Nvidia started people upgrading in 2018? Although there is another route that AMD could take with their AI upscaling and that's instead of copying Nvidia's model of, you know, not working on older cards, AMD could actually copy Intel's model, which is weird because Intel is just coming into the graphics card scene. But you know, you gotta you gotta learn from them, I guess already because Intel actually does accelerate XCSS their their upscaler using their XMX cores on their GPUs, but they also have a fallback layer that is compatible with all GPU brands, and this is called. XESS's DP4A fallback path. AMD could possibly end up accelerating AI upscaling on their GPUs that are capable, like say 7000 series cards because they do have AI cores on them, but then they could use a fallback layer on cards that aren't like Intel is. And knowing AMD, they're probably going to make this work between all kinds of graphics cards brands because that's how they roll. The problem with this though is if you have to use a fallback path, it costs more performance to get the same level of quality with upscaling. And Hardware Unbox tested this. Tim found that you need to you need to drop XCS down basically an entire tier of resolution scale in order to get similar performance when you're not on an Intel graphics card. However, he did say that the image quality benefit of using XCSS over FSR in most games is still worth that drawback of having to drop your resolution even more. It isn't in all cases, but a lot of the time, this is exactly what he said. So if AMD could make a fallback layer for AI upscaling, if they're able to make it run a little bit more efficiently than Intel's XCSS DP4A fallback, it would allow it to work on a wide variety of cards while still looking better than FSR is currently, only with a slight performance hit. But we're gonna have to see how this pans out. The second thing is how long is it going to take AMD to get this AI upscaler 
in games. Because most of us know that Nvidia's reputation, especially in the gaming audience, is really taking a downturn. I don't think a lot of people like Nvidia. And that's because of their, their poor value with their graphics cards and their really weird upsell techniques that they're doing right now. And you would think that this is AMD's perfect time to strike. And they close the gap between AMD cards and Nvidia and release this AI upscaler. But adding AI upscaling to games is not going to be this instant process. Hell, even FSR still isn't in every game. Like for example, one of the biggest games recently, Power World, only has DLSS and not FSR at all. I mean, this isn't like this huge developer studio, but yeah, they don't have FSR in it. Baldur's Gate 3 actually only just recently got FSR 2.2, where it only had FSR 1.0 for a while, and FSR 1.0 looks a lot worse than FSR 2. So not to mention that FSR's implementation into each specific game can be really like inconsistent. Some games, FSR looks great, and I don't really have a, like a huge disadvantage, you know, between FSR and DLSS. And then some games, FSR just looks like total doo doo. So how long is it going to take for devs to integrate AMD's possible new tech here into games? How long will it take it to actually be good? Because we all know <laughs> FSR 3 frame generation has been taking a while, and we've only just got to the point where FSR 3 frame gen is decent in games. It took a long time. What if as long as it takes to get FSR AI upscaling in games, it, is Nvidia just going to release something that's really cool and it's not going to matter again? It does, I will say, it does always help that AMD makes their technologies open source. So that's super cool and super like community friendly. Um, but they probably make their, their technologies open source because AMD is usually behind on this stuff and this allows everybody to work on the project and not just AMD, but at least they're open source. At least they are. The rumor is that AMD is getting AI upscaling. What do you think? Does it have potential? I mean, honestly, the evidence we have right now is so vague. Do you even think this is what we're even talking about? Uh, like we can't even confirm it, but it wouldn't surprise me though if AMD is interested in making an AI upscaler because AMD as a company has been really interested in AI lately. That's kind of all they've been talking about. Look at their presentations. AI application, growing AI, next gen AI, build AI, history of AI innovation. Would not surprise me if in the background they're training their machine learning programs to make AI upscaling on their cards. But if this does happen, do you think this is going to be compatible on like a large variety of GPUs or is it going to be limited to AMD ones? That, that would surprise me. Is this AI upscaling, is it going to be too little too late? Is this even going to be better than what Intel is offering with XCSS, which is compatible with a wide range of GPUs too? Let me know what you think about this. This is all a whole interesting situation. I'm excited to see where AI upscaling on AMD cards is going to go. Definitely one of the most lacking parts about AMD cards and one of the major compromises you have to make in terms of gaming. That's been about it for me and y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video and peace.